What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Dart Frog adventure. Today I pulled all the grip tape off my skateboard because I needed to put some new grip tape on. Went with a new company, Mob Grip. I usually go with Black Diamond, so I want to see how this stuff does. Um, but yeah, today I'm just going to show you how to pretty much put your grip tape on your deck. Um, I figured since I had the grip tape off, it'd be a good video to show you guys on how to put grip tape on your deck. So let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, since I got the grip tape off my deck and everything, still a little bit sticky from the last grip tape, but here's one trick I learned over the years. After you pull off your old grip tape, keep a chunk of your grip tape, because you still have some of the uh, old grip tape probably left up here from like, you know, especially if you've been riding it. Like, I've been riding my skate a little bit. I've only had a couple weeks. Um, like I said, just getting back into skating. It's been about 15 years since I started, since I have last skated. Um, but, uh, I'm no stranger to putting on grip tape, that's for sure. So, like I said, what we're going to do is take some old grip tape. Just rough down the tail on the nose. Get any big chunks off of your deck, if there's any chunks left over from the last grip tape. Um, I didn't use a hair dryer or anything to heat up my grip tape to pull it all off. So, um, that's kind of a recommended step, is just to use a really good hair dryer on uh, high. Or if you have a heat gun, just hit it down real quick. And just pull off the grip tape in one nice smooth motion. Um, maybe one of these days, if you guys want to see that, I'll make a how to remove your grip tape video. But today, just going to show you how to put grip tape on. Um, like I said, I went with this new brand, this Mob Grip, because I like skating with something that has a little bit more grip than your average run the mill standard grip tape. Um, what you want to do is before you even pull the back off, get an idea of where you're going to line it up at. So make sure you still have like a, you're not going to get it all crooked on there or anything like that. So I got a little bit right there, got a little bit hanging off over there, a little bit right there. So yeah, that would be a good spot to set my grip tape. So what I'll do is I'll put it on there, just kind of flip it over, eye it. And that way I know where to start it, right there. So that gives me a measuring point, so I got about that right there. So my next thing what I'm going to do is now that I got it kind of lined up and got an idea of what I'm going to do with it, pull it back off. And what you're going to do is you're going to start at one end and work your way to the other. I don't have a roller, so I got my trucks right here, my King Band, or my uh, Independence. I used to love riding Independence, also love riding Ventures, but I decided to get back into Independence. And let me tell you, they feel like we're riding a brick. They're heavy still. Could have got the hollows, but uh, right now what I'm trying to do is get the grip tape started so I can get it peeled off. And as soon as I get it peeled off here, we'll get going. All right, so now that I got it peeled, I only want to peel back about that much. Make sure you get it lined up. So what I do is I like taking this, kind of folding it down so I don't have to worry about that too much. That way I can get it lined up really easy. Now here's the next trick. Once you get it lined up, kind of gauge it. That's gonna be off, so I gotta pull it off just here. Get that back under there so I can get it lined up. Like I said, you only want like a quarter of an inch hanging off to both sides. The line comes down, that's gonna be there. Now with it running like that, okay. Now that I got some of it started, I can press it down some. Because the last thing you want to do is just get it all tacked on there and have to pull the whole thing back off. And what you want to do is pat it down slowly. Make sure you're keeping it level and getting air bubbles out of there. I got it on there a little sideways, but it'll still work.
Okay. Yeah, I'm a little close right there. A little off over there, but it's alright. I'm really close right there, and it'll still work. So, take my trucks. Now that I got the air bubbles out of there, it's okay that like when I had my trucks and I knocked it down in there a little bit, and that's right, because I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Um, it's important not to have any kind of like sticks or debris under your grip tape. You wanna get all the bubbles out of there, that's for sure. So work it down pretty good, slowly. Um, the slower the better, but I got all the air bubbles out of there. So I'm gonna take my old, uh, I guess it would be scalpel tool, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to rough the edges. So, I got a good line to cut from, as you can see. How much room I didn't have because I got it a little bit sideways down here but it's still not going to matter it's not enough for tape to cover it so next thing we're going to do get our exacto blade and we're going to want to just carefully cut off some of this excess grip tape so we have something to work with and if you have a brand new blade it works out so much better this is a brand new blade so I'm just taking off some of this excess stuff right now. It was a little easier to work with. That way when I get up to this spot where I'm cutting, I'm not going to be fighting with all this extra stuff. go I'm gonna fill up some of it to the side so I get a nice straight line you always want to start at the end of the board try to work this way with a nice easy cut motion and what you're gonna to want to do is you want to keep your blade to the side you don't want it like straight on or anything like that you're gonna want it to the side so you want it like that basically so I'm gonna give myself some room to work here and I'm gonna Follow along the skateboard. Now that I got it started, it'll be easy just to follow along the skateboard. Like I said, keep it at an angle like that so you're not cutting into your board. And then follow that line that you just scored. It doesn't have to be super perfect when you're cutting it, just keep it at a good angle because we'll go back through and we'll fix up anything that's not working great. And after you score it, it gives you a good line to cut from. Makes it much easier to cut through the grip tape. And if you get to any spots that are like kind of like pinching or biting on your grip tape, just kind of roll it up so you cut it, you're not cutting into your deck.
now that you have your deck all cut out and everything, if you see up here on the corner, what we can do is we can just kind of trim that off just a little bit. See how it kind of still has some grip tape right there? Just trim it out, line it up nice and smooth. And then that's where we're going to take our old grip tape. We're going to run it down the sides and just kind of clean it up too. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Um, what I didn't do is I didn't get those stupid little bushes out of the way. So I got a couple little dots in there. No big deal. But yeah, anyhow, I got this gripped. And then we'll put the um, trucks back on later. And uh, what you do is, uh, before I put the trucks on, I'll show you what to do to get your holes so you're not trying to fight, trying to figure out where they're at over here. I'll show you a cool little trick for that too. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit, and then we'll get back with you guys. Okay, so now that I got my deck all gripped again, I'm going to take my handle from my old X-Acto knife. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run around the edge of the board. Just kind of clean up some of the loose debris. kind of knock some of that off there now that I got some of that knocked off there take some of my old grip tape and we'll go around the edges again and just knock off some of that loose stuff right there You don't have to do that, but it just makes it look a lot cleaner. As you can see, it's on there pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to find the holes, which is pretty easy. So come over here. Now what we're going to do is once we have it on the table over here, flat, like I said, I got my phone on the tripod right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the back of the board where our trucks mount right here. We're going to take some of our mounting hardware. And we're just going to push it through the holes on this side. So that way it pops through. Do that with all your holes. And then once you get done with that, if I can get it back out of there. <laughs> there we go. Now that you got your hole started, take your skate tool. Pop out the screwdriver part. Take your skate tool. Put it together so you have the little handle on there. And all you do is you just take your skate tool and you open up that spot so that way when your mounting hardware goes back in there you got that just like that so i'm going to finish up all the other rest of the holes and i'll get back with you now that i got my skate all put back together gotta check it out you know there's no air bubbles in it went on there pretty good it's all lined out pretty good uh, like I was saying, that's pretty much how you grip your deck. Uh, if you guys like this video, most definitely hit like, because um, I'll bring you some more videos on how to completely build the deck, you know, from the deck up or whatever. You show you how to tear apart your trucks and, you know, how all that works, kingpins, axles, all, you know, any of that stuff. Pulling your bearings, pushing your bearings, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this. I'm going to go ahead and check it out. That's pretty much how you grip tape it. Like I was saying earlier, I'm not sure how far out this summer I'm going to go um, for skate parks and whatnot. Uh, there's still a handful more skate parks I'm going to hit before the end of the summer. Uh, next summer, I'm hoping to, you know, get quite a ways out, especially if you guys really start getting into and liking my skate video section on my videos here on Dart Vlog. I'm going to go ahead and put them all, probably start putting all my uh, uh, skateboarding videos and stuff on my vlog channel. So Dart Frog Adventure Vlog. Um, if you're unfamiliar, I have two channels. Uh, this one is the Dark Frog Adventure Vlog. I'm going to start putting all my skate videos on there, like I just said. Uh, and my other main channel, I'll leave a link to that one, too. Um, I might throw a video on there, here and there, for skating and whatnot. But usually that's just my big main adventure channel, <coughs> where it's like outdoors hiking, fishing, you know, all that fun stuff. Like I said, all the little random videos I like to try to keep on my vlog channel. But uh, next year I'm hoping to get, like, you know, maybe out to Boise or, you know, somewhere else to go check out some of the skate parks and everything. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's that's pretty much how you grip your deck. Uh, I just wanted to bring a how-to for you guys since I was uh, having to re-grip my deck. So I was like, well, you know, might as well make a YouTube video for you guys. Uh, like I said, if you guys are new to my channel, hit subscribe. And if you like this video, most definitely hit me a like because um, that helps out quite a bit. 
and uh, I'll keep bringing you more skate videos as long as you guys keep hitting those likes. I really appreciate that. That's awesome you guys to do. Uh, but like I said before, till the next adventure.